I'm not worried about Brexit taking this away from me. Uh, the Brexit never gave it to me. Um, the UK didn't give it to me. The UK hasn't really done a lot for me in much more beyond uh, providing a passport. Um, and I'm not anti-British in that sense. It's more a case of, I think, a lot of people get hung up in the rule Britannia nonsense, which um, it's not an empire anymore. It still plays its games, but it's a bit like when people watch TV shows uh, like Downton Abbey and that sort of stuff, thinking, oh, well, I would live back there and I'll be Lord of the House or whatever. No, you wouldn't. You'd be scrubbing the pots in the kitchen because you're, uh, <laughs> you're not at that level and never will be. Um, that is the British Empire. I mean, my most important icons in the um, out of the UK would probably be uh, Harrison for Greenwich Mean Time and the wooden clocks and what happened to him was very typical um, British hypocrisy and nepotism how they wouldn't recognize his wooden clocks he didn't come from the right background because um, he was a carpenter um, the other one I suppose would be yeah it would have to be Alan Turing um, who eventually killed himself after being harassed by MI5, MI6 um, and if you don't know who these people are I'd research them because they're their history and what the British did to them um, and I say British because at the end of the day this is it's the hierarchy of the UK that do this stuff and that's where the Britishness comes from is is the stiff upper lip it's putting up with crap because you're told to um, so the brexit thing for me doesn't bother me it's not going to take this away from me if anything, I'm more likely to get a Spanish passport than anything else. Um, I've done a lot in my time for the UK, you know, honestly, and I, I do feel that the way it treats its expats is exactly the same way they would have treated Harrison and others, because um, they get what they want out of it and then they just shaft them. And I think that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, you look through history, um, the Boer War, and where the concentration comes, concentration camps come from. That's a British thing. Um, a lot of the bad things have come out of the UK as well as good. And I think that's part of the problem. People forget their history. And for me, Britain's done a lot for the world, but it's also done a lot of bad things. Um, and I can't, I can't be bothered with the hypocrisy of it. I'm not a fan of the Brexiteers. I'm not a fan of the rim owners as people call them what I think people need to recognize is you're being played off each other the same way the British Empire did to India and Pakistan uh, when it used to be one one country and then split in two it's exactly the same um, do you think if you turned up at work and failed in every job that you've been given and you turned up with very few qualifications that are relevant to the job you would have got it in the first place do you think if you were in charge of security for the Olympics and failed at that, you would then get in charge of um, immigration, then fail at that, and then end up as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? Um, I don't think so. In the same way, if you're at a normal level job elsewhere, you wouldn't have got, gone up the ladder. You'd have gone out the door. Same as bundling Boris, who will sell his soul for whoever's paying. Um, did, did a complete hash-up of the... Uh, Brexit campaign, they st still managed to win it with uh, whatever reason. I mean, the media made it such a circus, it's very hard to see what's the truth anymore. But then he ends up in another decent job after it as well. So the question is, was he put in there to fail in the first place? Because let's face it, if somebody had done that to me, I wouldn't be actually giving him a job. Not a good one anyway. He'd be looking after some remote, he'd be, he'd be in charge of the Falklands or something. Anyway, catch you later guys. But that's my view on it. No, I'm still going to be here. I'll still be here in 10 years time. I've got to go because people are talking behind us. <laughs> Cheers.